How much garbage do we make? Good morning. Greetings. How's the coffee business this morning? Oh, so Monday, it's going good. All right. You're on YouTube 22 times now. You didn't even know. <laughs> Can you see that already? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's me. Well, Thank Thanks. you. Thanks. Have a great day. You so. too. How's it going? Good. I like your truck. Thanks, sir. I'll give you 2,500 cash right now. Okay, it is 6.20. I'm just pulling in the yard on a Monday morning. Uh, so Daryl and Daryl <laughs> won't be here today. Um, older Daryl had a medical emergency. He texted me some pictures from the hospital last night. He'll be all right, but he's definitely not going to be in today. And we'll see about tomorrow and the next day and the rest of the week. But uh, we'll see what goes on there. So hopefully the rest of the guys will show up. But either way, the work's going on. we got to set up a patio today. <clears throat> and get it ready to pour for the morning. Well, my son's got his little concrete business started, so he's using my equipment, of course, but I see he picked up this big old excavator. He must be digging a foundation for a, a building or something. That's interesting. It's like uh, it's that bucket. That bucket's just may maybe the same size as a shovel. Man, what a crummy weekend for weather. Sure Terrible. Morning. Good. Um, do you got any work boots? Because those ain't going to cut it. <laughs> All right, we're on the job site. Just want to show you what's going on. So the road's up there. We're going to bring the plywood in, bring the skid loader over the lawn, come down this hill, and then we're going to be installing a new patio. So he's got a deck. You're going to come down off the steps of the deck onto the patio. I don't know if you can kind of see the orange lines that I painted here. Not those, those are marking the utilities. It's gonna kinda curve around, come out this way, and then it's gonna go back up the hill. I have to dig down quite a bit where the wheelbarrow is. We got so we need, to, we need to start shoveling around these because I don't feel like digging these up. No, go we're down. to locate the lines. Yes, so the plan is we're going to, uh, we're gonna basically dig this out, set all the forms and get it prepared to pour. I'm not pouring it today, I'm not pouring it till the morning. Okay. So, I never pour stamped concrete in the middle of the day. If that electric line shocked him, he would just get mad and throw a shovel. Right. They wouldn't even kill him. <laughs> That's the thing though with rocky ground, a lot of times they don't go down as deep as they're supposed to. We need to move that rock back. So we're actually gonna excavate. We're gonna excavate to here. Because he's gonna put a little retaining wall right here. You want to put it over here? I'll just, tilt. just tilt it. Is that heavy? No, not bad at all. <laughs> I don't want you want to grab the skid loader with the plywood? Sure. I thought Daryl was getting it. Daryl's not here. This guy's really picky. That's all right. So are we? Yeah. yeah We got all the plywood laid out so we don't destroy the customer's lawn. It mitigates the damage quite a bit. It's not going to be perfect when we're done, but a lot of guys just come in with a wheeled skid loader and just tear up the lawn and leave the customer with a mess. We don't do that. I got a track machine which reduces the ground pressure coupled with the plywood and it's in good shape pretty much when we leave. Al, you've been watching the videos? Come on! You're the star, man! Alright, here we go. Dig it up.
to dig, man. There's a line. Found Woo. it. Found it. That one wasn't marked at all. Nope. What am I supposed to do with that? Right. Not very huge. Well, and it's not even marked at all. I would maybe leave it in the ground right there, yeah, and then I'll try to I'll try to work around it. Right. We're gonna try to work around it and see what happens. We'll do our best. I'm gonna put one more bucket on after this one and dump it and get a load of gravel right away. It's 9.30, I just finished digging out the patio. It's all excavated. We excavated a little extra because he's gonna put a little retaining wall there where the dirt is higher than the concrete. It's all dug out, guys are set the forms. We had to dig around the wire, so, and the ground was, ground was very hard and rocky, so it took a little bit longer than I was hoping, but it went pretty good overall. Right, Al? You crabby? <laughs> it's not the same without Daryl here, Bugs. I know, it's nice. <laughs> Why are you so mean? Man, he's going to watch his video. I hope so. Maybe he'll learn something. Hey, Daryl. <laughs> well, that is. Well, I got to get a couple measurements off the house because we got to square this part to the house. And he wants it straight for like whatever it is, eight feet or whatever. We'll just grade it all and then we'll set that last shut off. Yeah, set it right to the orange line right here. Straight. So everything's graded. We got a good solid four inch patio and then we're gonna put a 10 gauge wire mesh and then we're gonna crisscross rebar probably four or five feet on center just on top of the wire mesh and we'll pull that all up. When I pour stamped concrete, I like to make sure that it's nice and strong. If you show up every day this week on time, I'll borrow you the money to buy that truck. Yes or no? Yeah. Okay, every day on time. I'm always on time. <laughs> that makes no sense at all. He said he's on time every day, even when he's late. My money's against him. You're betting against him, Al? Where's your confidence in your fellow co-worker? Come on. All right, we're all done. We're headed out. It's 1130. That's all we're doing today. I worked seven days last week and uh, taking a half a day for myself. Not that I'm going to take a break. I got work to do, but I'm not going to another job site. Oh, can you call and call me back? Because I have to scramble now to try to find the stamps if I don't get them from you guys. That's why I called last Thursday to reserve them for next this Tuesday. And now all of a sudden they don't have them. That's, that's not acceptable, man. I reserved them last week Thursday for tomorrow, and now they're telling me they don't have them. So I, I need to get them because I got concrete ordered for the morning. I said, can you just order me my own set? I'll just buy my own set. I mean, I'll rent the seven that you have for tomorrow. But I can't go through this again. Ugh. 
that's super frustrating man i had a i had a brand new set of stamps the stamps that i'm scrambling to get right now to rent i had bought a brand new set of those two years ago brand new they were still in the plastic i never ever used them and one of my ex-employees stole them from me so he stole all my stamps all the stamps that i own several sets of stamps and a year and a half later i found out he stole them and i actually found where he was storing them i got all my stamps back but the set that i'm trying to find right now he had sold so uh, it's frustrating man it is very frustrating so now i'm going to drive to the other side of town it's over half an hour away to go rent a partial set of stamps which i'm going to have to struggle with tomorrow and that's after the place that's near me i reserved a set of stamps last week thursday for tomorrow which is tuesday had them reserved they were in my name and now they said that they don't have them for me for tomorrow so i'm gonna buy my own set again i gotta repurchase the same set that i bought two years ago brand new so i don't know that's just this is just the kind of stuff you deal with as a contractor and all you contractors you guys all deal with the same stuff and i know that so i know i'm i'm, uh, I'm in good company but i just had to rant a little bit because it is pretty frustrating you start pulling them out i get a half of one too a half of a floppy